Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a little something different. So if you look closely, the front has settled quite a bit on this on this thing, and the back sitting higher. And I'm pretty sure the front's still going to settle a little bit more. So it's like it's about an inch higher in the back right now, and it's hard to tell. It's kind of deceiving because the fender openings, the front is actually taller than the rear if you look at it closely so it, it just looking at the fen like the gap between the wheel and the fender it looks like it's level but it's actually sitting lot, quite a bit higher in the back so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull those ad leafs out and see what that gets me i think those are about an inch and a half um, but i never ran i never had those leafs in without them so that should get me fairly close and if the front settles any more it'll probably be pretty good so I'm gonna I'm gonna rip those ad leafs out and see where we're sitting got that axle drop down <clears throat> so next what I'm gonna do is clamp this leaf pack pull this bolt out and then release the clamp we can pull that add a leaf out I got those ad leafs out. <clears throat> Let's jack those axle back up. Set it on the ground and see where she's sitting. Definitely sitting lower in the back now, and uh, I think these leaves are one of them sagging out a little bit on this driver's side because it's sitting like an inch lower. And I noticed it before; it was always sitting lower on the driver's side, but I think those ad leaves kind of what kind of was a band-aid fix for it because it wasn't nearly as bad as this. You can see it squatting pretty good on this side now. All right, so did a little research, and I guess the F-150s had issues with one side sagging. Um, I think it was the driver's side because they had the fuel tank on that side, and that that side spring seems to clap out pretty quick. So what I might actually do is go to the junkyard and just pull a passenger side spring and swap out that one spring on the driver's side, and. So essentially I'd have two driver side springs and no they're not side specific, they're identical springs. So that's what I might do and then that'll get this side up and yeah like I said I don't know it's about a, now it's about an inch lower in the back but I'm going to see how much that front settles in. I hope it settles a little bit because this thing is, it's pretty tall so I wouldn't mind Having it, having just a little bit lower, um, but I guess we'll see. All right, I figure while I'm down here crawling around, I'm gonna throw a fresh coat of paint on that drive shaft since I never uh, painted it and it's kind of crusty looking. There it is guys, so I know I've never talked about it, um, what I did for driveline and 
uh, all the angles and everything and actually is working out pretty freaking good so I don't have anything in the rear no shims nothing the axle is only um, the only pinion angle that changes the pinion angle is where my leafs are mounted so I got like eight degrees up on the pinion and all I did was drop the carrier bearing uh, inch I believe an inch and a half and this thing drives great there's no vibration at all in that driveline so pretty happy with that and actually the front driveline is a hundred percent stock obviously I have the high pinion so that helps out tremendously um, if you had a low pinion you wouldn't even be able to bolt the driveline on but that is a completely stock solid axle driveline and it doesn't vibrate at all but I don't have enough slip and I don't have enough um, angle in that car or in the double carton so I'm gonna have to do something I'll probably end up just doing a, uh, a long slip and then a single u-joint here on the top and I hope that won't vibrate too much I'm not too worried about it but I do want to be able to you know in the winter when I'm driving it I want to be able to throw it in four wheel drive when I'm uh, cruising on the road so We'll see what happens there. I gotta order up parts. I don't know guys, what do you think? That side is obviously squatting more. Well this side don't look too bad at all, honestly. Looks almost level. A little change of plans guys. Devin called me, broke down, so we're gonna go save his sorry ass. Got on there, bud. The only thing I don't know is where the hell the strap this piece of shit up at. You know, one of them. Right here, hooks you hook. Strap right here. Nah, dude, there's like nothing. Piece of shit ass car. Alright guys, made it back home, got the car home, we're good to go. So I'll link Devin's video up in the in the corner because I'm sure you'll have one uh, if you want to see the full story. So check it out guys. So that's about all we got to do today. Um, I know we didn't accomplish a lot, but we did accomplish one thing and that was I was I've been trying to figure out if it was the front or the rear that was causing that lean. Um, because if if either side leans it leans the whole truck so it's hard to tell I mean I could jack up the back and it would level out and then I jack up the front and the back would level out but I think those uh, out leaves are were kind of a band-aid fix because it wasn't nearly as bad as it is now if you can look it's about an inch now um, inch lower on the driver's side and it's very noticeable so like I said, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna, gonna go buy one more leaf, and I might actually take a couple extra leafs and add it to these packs and see if I can get just another half inch out of these leaves, because um, those ad leaves are extremely stiff. They're the stiffest ad leaves I've ever had in my life. Those things are rock solid, and they were just too high too. So when this weather gets a little better. I think I'll run to the junkyard, pull some leaves out, and uh, we can get this rear end fixed up. But for now, that's about all we got to do. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.